Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're uh, continuing on from the last video's testing tune. Uh, we're here at Atlanta Dragway. Uh, we came back for day two. Uh, if you remember where we left off, the car had a shifting issue going three to four. I think it was just the transmission computer freaking out, but we're about to put the car in the lanes, put it down the track, and uh, see if we did indeed have an issue or if it was just a fluke. But let's see what we got. Alright, so forgive me for being out of breath. Um, I'm not sure if you can see in the last video. I'm going to edit it, I'll see. But Sharon left a bunch of water at the starting line. I thought she'd blown the intercooler pump hose off because it's a new intercooler pump we've got going on. So I had to run across the pits because um, in our rush to get to the staging lanes, we forgot to put the phone in the car. So uh, anyway, I'm out of breath. She just got back. Intercooler pump is fine, but I want to see what her reaction is to what she just ran because I don't know if she has looked at the ticket yet or not because we didn't talk about it. We stopped the intercooler pump. So we're gonna see right now what her uh, thoughts are on that. All right, take a look. Woo! Head five. Nice. Head We've been five. trying for that for weeks. Uh, months. <laughs> months. Ten five uh one thirty four seventy seven. Get out. On a soft lead too. Oh well, yeah, I just stabbed it. Yeah. So we we didn't, we didn't even bring it up off an of idle or nothing. Didn't spin the tires though. No, I mean it felt good. Like I, I was saying. Probably because it's got more power, and yesterday you didn't do any one two shifts with that kind of power because you're still light foot in it. Right, so I just, I just, I think it's just a matter of getting used to shifting again. And, but it shifted fine throughout the whole run, it didn't feel weird, it felt good, so. So I guess the transmission issue yesterday was a fluke? Um, I'm assuming so. Alright, well, let's put the fan on it, let's uh, check the logs, and ice her down. day here today uh, car didn't shift one two is the problem with that one uh, it left a bunch of water down the starting line again uh, the drain hose was definitely clear and I can't find the leak uh, I don't know what's going on with the transmission we're gonna get a hold of the tuner I gotta have to tear the ice tank system apart and fix all that stuff so uh, we knew that that was only a temporary setup for the ice tank because we didn't have the fittings in time uh, but we got to tear the ice tank apart, get a hold of the tuner, and uh, I don't know, see what's going on with it. But for right now, we're just going to load up and head out of the track. All right, so uh, we made it home. Mad dash. Um, we were able to get a revision on the tune, luckily. Um, so yay. Thank you again. Um, we have torn apart the trunk tank. Um, we got into a private testing tune tomorrow. So we're gonna try and do this over again. Um, but babe, you wanna tell them what you're what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. So um, last time you saw this, uh, we had a couple of leaks. We had that water that was coming out the track. So we think we got that taken care of. I think that was the drain line. So what I did was is and don't judge me on this one, but the drain line's down here, and 
it just, and you can see it's actually still leaking a little bit of water. But I took the hose and I put a Dash 12AN fitting on it. And then this is all stuff we have from the previous ice tank. So I put the Dash 12AN fitting on it. And then a male connector. And this is a cap for a hose, like a garden hose, um, which is why it's leaking. Because it's not AN all the way through. So it's just, this should keep it from like pouring out on the track. And I'm planning on blowing it off before we take a run so it doesn't leak any water on the track. Um, so we fixed that. We had some leaks um, from these fittings that we used. Um, these are actually um, steel JIC fittings. And I didn't get a chance to put in the regular AN fittings because we didn't get them. However, they came yesterday while we were down getting the cartoon and at the track. So I tore the bumper off and took these guys out. And I put in these ones, which are going to be the final ones. And I'll turn my phone flash on here so you can see. Um, so down here, we've actually got, these are actual AN fittings. And they're 90 degree bulkhead fittings. Okay. So they go to the straight guy here. And that goes to the pump. Clamped off. So we have no problems there. I got another one here. Uh, we still don't have a 30 degree fitting. It didn't come in. Because I'm actually going to come off here 30 degrees down here at this fitting. And then come off back up so i'm gonna come off of here come up this way into the tank so that we can put the piece of plastic back on so we did all four fittings on either side which is that where it was leaking uh, we did also use these things which we got from uh earl's performance i think they are they're actually a and gaskets so they're kind of cool little things uh it worked perfectly because we still had a leak at i think it was this one here the pump feed line it goes around uh, so we put that on there um, threw it all together uh, we also had a leak up the front at the intercooler tank so i put one of these up there that's not leaking anymore so we have no leaks that stopped everything should be good for tomorrow of course it is like two o'clock in the freaking morning at this point i think 147 in the morning so and a private test session tomorrow starts at 10 10 yes 10 Okay, so that starts at 10, so we have, like, got to get this all buttoned up, all the tools picked up, got to get the car back into the trailer, um, strapped back down, trailer turned around, all that kind of stuff, so that tomorrow morning we can head out to the private test session. Uh, reason being is we want to go to Street Car Shootout, which is this Saturday at Rockingham. It's really the last event we're going to have for the year. So That we know of. Well, that we know of. Um, and with everything going on, with all the COVID stuff, we don't know if we're going to even get anything else end of this year beginning of next year i mean who knows what's going to happen with that so we really want to get in there and we didn't have a good test session today or last night so i know it's kind of rushed and i promise i will do a trunk tank video and the whole install video i still have to tear it apart again to put the 30 degree on there and to rhino line the, the trunk pan and everything but once it's all done I'll, I'll do the trunk tank install video but right now i just want to get her back in the trailer get it strapped down, get the tools picked up, get over to the track so that uh, we can participate tomorrow and hopefully be ready for street car shootout because just in case the, something else is off or you know there's a problem with the car, we may be able to get it fixed by Saturday. Uh, I don't know, but we're going to thrash and bash, get it in the car, and hopefully we'll be able to have another video come out that says we did a great job and everything's perfect or... It's going to be sad face. The car is broken. Here's what we got to do next to get it running. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, 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 know, you cleaned up, I guess, a little bit. So. No, this all has to go back into that bag so we can take it to the track. So that if we have a problem at the track, we can fix it there. Although, I don't know where the hell we were going to have a problem because it's all done. So. All right. Uh, that's it for me. I'm, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Yeah, well, about half an hour we're probably going to be going to bed. But that's it for me. So, uh. Thanks for watching. Uh, this one wasn't the greatest video, but we'll see what tomorrow brings.